Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Channel 6 TV, Community Focus. Kenny Fogel here. How you doing tonight? We're celebrating my birthday. Happy birthday to Bethlehem High School. 200 years. And this young man, he wasn't here 200 years ago, but he is now. So he's now Mr. Tom Hamilton, the principal here at Bethlehem High School. So first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, it, it's, I've been here a while, but uh, not quite 200 years. <laughs> well, before we get into the, the 200th anniversary, let's talk a little bit about Bethlehem. I mean, a lot of change has been going on. I know we talked, we've talked, we talked many times about the, the academic achievements here. And of course, you've got a new athletic field that you've been working on that's, I guess, ready to go. Oh, yeah, we are. We've, uh, we're up and running out at the uh, new athletic complex. We're excited about all that. You know, it's... Uh, uh, th this campus, and we've done a lot of renovation in this campus area as well, uh, but this campus is our home, and it is will always be our home, and it, it has always been our home, and uh, are just in this little area of a uh, corner of, of Bargetown, um, and obviously we needed some, uh, we needed some space, yeah. uh, we needed some uh, space to uh, provide the athletic complex and the athletic fields that uh, that we needed and we've kind of wandered all over town in, in terms of uh, uh, playing home games and stuff so when we got the opportunity to move out here to John Rowland Boulevard on, on 200 Bethlehem Way uh -huh. uh, uh, we uh, we really uh, seized upon that opportunity and uh, a lot of folks came together in a capital campaign and uh, uh, we worked very hard, and, and a lot of folks volunteered their time and, of course, their talent and treasure. Um, and they've uh, they've made it a reality, uh -huh. and uh, it's been uh, it's been a real uh, real exciting time. Uh, we've still got work to do, and we've still got some money to raise, and we've still got some things to finish. Uh, but we are up and running with a new stadium and uh, for soccer and and football. And we've got a. We're going to have a uh, a fully regulation track uh, that is uh, going to be able to. We'll be able to host region region okay. track meets and things on. And we have a a great uh, softball stadium. It's going to be called Guthrie Stadium. Uh, and Five Star Field is the uh, is the name of the uh, the uh, soccer and football stadium. So uh, it's it's exciting time and. Uh, at the same time, we've uh, we've polished up some things here. We've got some uh, uh, we've got new teachers that are hard at work with uh, uh, good uh, salary uh, increases, and uh, uh, things are going very well. And uh, we're excited about the future. Well, I know I walked in here and y'all converting the library there into a museum right now. So I guess uh, for 200 years, you probably got a lot to put in the museum. <laughs> That's right. We're getting ready to have a party. Yeah. And uh, uh, it starts next weekend. Uh, it's kind of the culmination of a week of a year long uh, bicentennial celebration. But next weekend, we'll uh, start on Friday with a homecoming game uh, out at the new complex, out at Five Star Field. Will that be the Field. first game you've had out there? No, well, no, we've had, we've had several games. Okay. Uh, we've been up and running out there for about a month now. Okay. And uh, uh, like I say, we've still got some things to do, but uh, we're kind of working around the construction. But the fields are ready and good to go. Uh, so we'll have a big homecoming game with uh, Nelson County uh, High School next Friday night and a lot of folks are coming in reunion time and uh, then on Saturday the following day we've just got a party all day and uh, <laughs> we're gonna we've we've got uh, uh, a, a kids fair out here uh, in the uh, during the day from noon to four um, lots of bouncy houses and activities for the kids and and for and for uh, uh, adults and parents as well yeah. and uh, and then we're going to have a, a kind of a get together uh, of past teachers and and chaplains and priests that have all been a part of the history of uh, of Bethlehem, and uh, that'll that'll uh, culminate with a uh, with a mass uh, that's going to be celebrated by several of our chaplains, and uh, uh, proud to have a, a graduate bishop uh, uh, Mark Spaulding uh -huh. from the. Uh, uh, Diocese of Nashville. Uh, he graduated here in 1983, and he's done pretty well for himself. He's done all right. <laughs> he's done okay, uh, but he's coming back and going to celebrate the mass at six o'clock over at St. Joe, and then after that, we're going to come back over here and just kind of have a 
uh, a party, mm -hmm. uh, an adult time when uh, we're going to uh, play music and enjoy c our, our company with each other and hopefully a lot of alumni and a yeah. lot of friends come out to, uh, to enjoy the, uh, the bicentennial with us. Okay, well, Bethlehem's had a tremendous, like I said, 200 years of, of uh, I'm sure there's a lot of alumni that's come through here that's probably excelled in a lot of things, but uh, uh, the big thing I think that uh, I've, I've heard, known about Bethlehem all these years is how you track people once they leave. I mean, they're going to college, vocational school, military. It's a, it's a pretty good record of uh, people once they leave here being very they successful. Very well. They do, and uh, we, we try to keep track of that. You know, I, the, the uh, and I've said this to many groups before, but the uh, the real uh, uh, mark of a of a good organization is, is a, especially a two hundred year old organization, is the way they adapt yeah. to the to the environment and the future and and how they do those kinds of things. So you know, Bethlehem has has adapted, and and I, I give back to the to the founding uh, uh, sisters of charity and and the priests that started here. Um, they started out as of as just a community school mm -hmm. and served both Catholic and non-Catholic uh, children in this in Bardstown back in the uh, early 1800s, and uh, it has gone through some changes. You know, we uh, it was it was a K through 12 school for for a long period of time, and then it uh, when uh, the uh, elementary school over here opened and St. Joe Prep opened and and those kinds of things, it became a girls' high school. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, in the early 70s, uh, after St. Joe closed, uh, St. Joe Prep, um, it went back to co-ed. And so um, the great vision of the leaders in, at those times when, uh, when change was, was necessary to survive, uh, uh, there was a lot of visionary leaders who came, who came before me and, and will come after me. But uh, uh, they did a great job of, yeah. of anticipating that. And, and the thing that that we try to do is is serve the needs of this community so we we do we have uh, we uh, try to have our kids trained to do whatever the next level asks them now we go from you slate know. tablets to, to high, high speed computers it's been a, been a major right. leap so. sure has and it's uh, it, you know it's it's uh, a great honor and and and, a, and exciting to think that you know we're we're doing the uh, aviation internship with the other county schools and we've got a, a internship uh, we have an intern student with uh, you know you don't think of, of this school as being an agricultural school but we have a student that's working with Peterson Farms mm -hmm. uh, two day two hours a, a day and uh, that's been a great experiment well, a great I like to eat, so I hope yeah. they keep on working at agriculture yeah. stuff <laughs> and uh, we have several several students uh, uh, probably 10 percent of our senior class that are attending the uh, Nelson County uh, uh, ATC program mm -hmm. out at uh, uh, the vocational program mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah we're here to serve the needs of this community and that's that's the thing that that we we, we try to do well it was one of the oldest as 1819 obviously the the oldest school in this area region probably in the state of Kentucky so they were drawing people from all over and still are I mean how many counties are we drawing from I, right I, now? I, I think I think we're uh, at about nine counties <laughs> now and uh, we we uh, uh, send a bus we run daily bus service to uh, communities like E-Town, Shepherdsville, Mount Washington, Springfield. There's Redmond. going to be a reason these people want to come here. I mean, well, I think so. That's a lot of schools to get here. I think so, and uh, <laughs> and it, it has been a it's been a a, a really uh, great school, and I think I think the real hopefully the draw of this school is is the fact that we do uh, we do have the ability to uh, to uh, be a Catholic school, and and that, and and all, even though we have very uh, twenty percent of our students are non-Catholic, yes. um, but the idea of of a of a culturally uh, give uh, a, a school that gives back and and really sees itself as a service organization, um, that's that's a very strong pull here as well. Um, all of our kids spend some time doing uh, doing service, and and they. Uh, uh, they learn how to to be a part of a team. Mm -hmm. um, we work real hard at making sure our com our students can communicate in a group, get along in a group, yeah. uh, work. That's that's what the uh, that's what the work world is all about now is is teamwork, mm -hmm. and uh, and and our students are trained to to do that, and they they learn that through 
community service and organizations and taking making sure that we take care of, of the folks that are less fortunate. When you us. come into this building or even go to the athletic complex, you don't think 200 years. Because everything is as modern as you can see, as, as you see anywhere. I mean, this is everything here is up to date. I mean, you, you, nothing has been just let, left to go. We, That's uh, right. Just uh, well, we try to keep everything up and, and running. We've got some. Uh, uh, we've got a lot of uh, parts of the building. You know, we've done a complete renovation of the gymnasium. Uh, our classrooms are all highly equipped with the, the latest technology. Um, we have uh, 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 all of the amenities that uh, that you can see in the in the school. So, yeah, we we understand, and that's a part of, of being uh, a visionary kind of school. We know that we have to be out there, and we have to get. Uh, things going. We've got a tremendous uh, group of people that uh, keep us out there on social media and and uh, keep uh, our parents informed and things like that and they do a great job of doing that. So who's invited to this thing next Saturday? I mean it's... Uh, everybody. 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 <laughs> we've, uh, we've sent invitations to a lot of our alumni yeah. and a lot of our, our volunteer groups and things like that that we have a, a close association with. But this is a this is a uh, a celebration for the community because yeah. uh, that's what we're a part of and that's what we want to give back to uh, everybody and uh, it's it's been uh, it's been a great time and an exciting time we're getting ready to turn like I say turn the uh, the building into a, a kind of a museum we've got some uh, uh, timelines going up in the hallways and a uh, lot of memorabilia that we're finding. Uh, yeah. Throughout this town, people are bringing things into us, and uh, uh, so it is. It's going to be a party for the whole, for the uh, for everybody. Okay. Well, two hundred years is quite an accomplishment. I mean, if you think back over the history of the state of Kentucky, that just about covers the entire state and all all the march down. So, uh, thinking back to the wilderness from which we came, yeah. <laughs> they just and I can say two hundred years may not sound like a lot to a lot of people, but it's a a number of generations, and this has been a lot of education, a lot of, a lot of history walking through this building and uh, this community, and for, for to celebrate this, it's a, we all should be just absolutely overwhelmed. Well, we are, uh, we, we're pretty sure, we've done a lot of research, and we can't find anybody older, <laughs> uh, but we, uh, we think we're the oldest continuous school in the yeah. state of Kentucky, um, and uh, so yes, we have a lot to celebrate, and uh, we also have a lot of, of, of vision for the future as well because you know I tell people we've we've had a great run of 200 years and we're looking at at probably going 200 more oh my or goodness, better. Yeah, well that's back in the years of Daniel Boone and Abraham Lincoln was a little bitty type when when this place was it was built so uh, and like I said, we, we're going back quite a ways. Well, thank you, Mr. Hamilton, for letting us come in. Tom Hamilton here with the Bethlehem High School for allowing us to stop in and just uh, peek in on what you're doing today and hope you for all the best and uh, wish you for another 200 more. Thank you. We're <laughs> glad to do that. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. you being here. Okay. Appreciate you tuning in. And check out Bethlehem. they got a web page, Bethlehemhigh.org, I believe uh -huh. it is, if, I can, if I, my memory serves correctly. And so just check it out. If you get a chance, come on stop by next Saturday and uh, be all, and go out the football game. I'm, I'm looking That's forward right. to coming out there to the, just checking out the football field and seeing how everything looks. It's exciting. Of, it, it, all this stuff is just wonderful. So you, you can't miss it. You go out 245 and look over to your left just as you're going out of town. You won't be able to miss it. So Stick around. A lot more to come here on Channel 6 TV. I'm Kenny Fogle here at Bethlehem High School. It's Principal Tom Hamilton. We'll be right back here on Community Focus right after these messages.